Another cup of Maxwell House coffee, George. Sure. Pour me a cup, Gracie. If it's free, I'll have a cup, too. <laughs> you know, Maxwell House is always good to the last drop. That drop's good, too. Yes, it's Maxwell House Coffee Time, starring George Burns and Tracy Allen. <laughs> With our special guest, Jack Benny, yours truly, Toby Reed, Joseph Kearns, Harry Lubin of the Maxwell House Orchestra, and Bill Goodwin. For America's Thursday Night Comedy Enjoyment, it's George and Tracy. And for America's everyday coffee drinking enjoyment, it's Maxwell House. Always good to the last drop. Well, today we find the Burnses sitting in a booth at the Brown Derby restaurant. It seems their old friend, Jack Benny, has invited them to lunch, and they're waiting for him to arrive. Gracie, I wish you hadn't told me Jack were I wish you hadn't arranged it, Jack, for us to have lunch with Jack. It's it's always so embarrassing. Uh, what do you mean? Well, those lousy tips he leaves. <laughs> he's been eating here five years, and he's yet to tip more than a dollar. Well, a dollar isn't a bad tip. That's for the five years. <laughs> If we're his guests, he'll he'll make us order crackers and milk. The cheapest thing on the menu. Well, Judge, I wish you wouldn't talk that way about Jack. He's always been awfully nice to me. Did you see the birthday present he sent me? Why no? Well, it's a coupon which entitles me to a year subscription to Harper's Bazaar. From Jack? Mm-hmm. And all I have to do is fill it out and send it in with seven dollars. <laughs> $6. Well, Jack gets a dollar commission. <laughs> Jack, then he hasn't put his hand in his pocket. January will be 80 years. <laughs> he must be keeping him. Doesn't he know what time it is? No. He's too tight to buy a watch. He tells time by the sun. Oh, George tells time by the sun. I'm not kidding. Shh. Here he comes. Oh, hello, George. Hello, Gracie. Oh, hello, hi, Jack. Jack. I'm sorry I'm late, kids. These cloudy days throw me. <laughs> what did I tell you? Oh, waiter. The oh, waiter, we're ready to order. Yes, sir. Would Madame like to start with a cocktail? Oh, no, thanks. I never drink. Uh, I meant a shrimp cocktail. No matter how small it is, I never drink. I'll say that. Well, sure. Well, today when he says, here, I'll take it, I'll just keep my big mouth shut. 
How do you like this place? They refuse to give me extra crackers. Just wait till they ask me to put more bluing in their tablecloth. <laughs> Them. Excuse me, gentlemen. Here's your check. That'll be ten dollars and thirty cents. Here, I'll take it. <laughs> well, somebody say something. It'll be ten dollars and thirty cents. You shut up. <laughs> George, if you want the check, I won't fight you. <laughs> I don't want the check. <laughs> In that case, we'll fight. <laughs> You're the stingiest man who ever lived. Oh, is that so? Yes, that's so. Well, don't act so proud. You're not the first one who ever said that. <laughs> Make a nice gesture. This is the thanks I get. Oh, well, George, let's not make a scene. Go ahead and pay the check. All right, but I just want to say this. Jack, if you let me pay this check, you're a low, miserable, tightness, and conniving miser. You're a disgrace to our profession. And I'll never speak to you again as long as I live. If you finish, I have a few words to say. What are they? Here's the check. <laughs> All right, George, we're home now. Calm down and forget about Jack. I can't forget about it. How a man can go through life letting someone else pay his way, I'll never know. Well, now, don't let it make you so nervous. When you paid that check, you were so upset you could hardly get my purse open. <laughs> you know, Gracie, Jack didn't used to be this way. We were in Waterloo, and he was coming in a different world. Hey, now that you mention it, he was. What people used to call him Generous Jack the Plunge. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Will he be here tonight? Mm-hmm. 
I thought he was playing Altoona. <laughs> well, he was, but he got into an argument with the manager. He said he'd never play that theater again as long as he lived. What'd the manager say? That was the manager talking. <laughs> Money doesn't grow on trees. 